In this video, we're going to create a kind of website user scorecard that shows us where we are in terms of our target numbers of users. It's going to contain the users, the current day, the average users per day, the projected number of users at the end of the month, our target, left to go to reach the target, the number of days left in the month, the daily run rate to hit the target, and then where we are in relation to our target. To create this analysis, we're going to need a connection to Google Analytics, as well as a file containing the number of days in the month, plus our targets, much like this one here, with month in one column, days in each month in another, and then the target for each month. The first thing we'll need to do is create a connection between these two different data sources. So, in my Google Analytics connection, in the Query Blender, I'm going to find my targets and then join the two sources together. We'll use month as the joining key in this case. So, I'll locate month in both sides, add the condition, select the inner join, and save the Query Blend. Once this join has been made, we will now have access to both sets of data in measures and attributes. So let's start putting our query together. The first measure we'll add is users from Google Analytics. Here we have the sum of those users. We'll need to specify the date period as the current month, so from this month until today, which will give us the users for the current month. The first calculation we want to create will be a fixed calculated measure, which will give us today's date. So we'll call it day count, and this is the formula we'll use a distinct count values of day, which we'll now add into the query with our users. So we can see today is the 16th of the month. We're going to configure our chart slightly to make it easier to read. In columns, we'll put measures on rows, like so. The next calculation we're going to want to create is a standard calculated measure, which will give us the average number of users per day. And this is the formula we'll use. Some users divided by some day count, the calculated measure we've previously created. So we'll add this into our query now to see the first number divided by the second number. Next up, we want to create another standard calculated measure which will give us the projected number of users for the month. To do so, we're going to use our sum average per day and then multiply this by the number of days in the month. So we'll locate our days in month from our targets data and add that in. When we add this to our query, we can see the projected number of users for the current month based on the average per day. To calculate the number of days left in the month, we're going to create another standard calculated measure. This time, the formula will be the days in the month from our targets data minus the current date, which is our day count calculated measure we created earlier. So we'll now add this to our query and see the number of days left in the month is 15. We'll now want to incorporate our target data and see where we are in relation to that target. Firstly, we'll add some of our target into our query. And next up, we want to create a calculated measure which will give us the number of users left to reach our target. In order to do so, we're going to use our target from our target's data and then minus the number of users currently in the month. We can now see the number of users left to reach the target. We now want to calculate the daily run rate that would be required to reach our target. So we'll call it daily run rate to reach target, and the formula will be the left to reach target divided by the days left in the month. The final calculation we'll need to create to complete our scorecard will be one which tells us where we are in relation to our target. The formula for this is slightly more complicated. 
what we're going to have is our projected users minus our target from our target data. And then it will be divided by that same target. And then we'll multiply this by 100 to give us a percentage. So when we add in our final calculation, we can see where we are in relation to our target. Let's format this figure slightly using chart configuration. Display format, and then we'll custom this to have one decimal place and a percentage sign suffix, like so. We can now save this either as new in the library or to a new dashboard.